Good morning, students. Welcome to class. Welcome to Science Palooza. This is your expectations and directions for activity one. Are you ready? Activity one is called balloon rockets. First off, let me give you a little bit of a background information. President George W. Bush at the Columbia Memorial, one of the space shuttles, he said, this cause of exploration and discovery is not an option we choose. It is a desire written in the human heart. That's an awesome quote. So within each of us as humans, we have this desire to explore the world around us. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, NASA helps in that exploration of space. NASA's current goal is to continue the explo exploration of the moon and Mars. The Apollo missions of the 1960s and 70s sent 12 Americans to the lunar surface. We landed six times and each time we put a flag. So there's six flags on the moon. And each of those six times, two men walked on the surface of the moon, two Americans, which is pretty cool. So over the past 40 years or so with the space shuttles, we have been working on our next goal, which was to build the fortress in the sky, our international space station. It is completed now. So we look to deep space, the moon and Mars as NASA's next goal. NASA's goal is to return to the moon and land the first woman and the next man on the lunar surface by 2024. That's pretty soon. You're gonna see that in your lifetime. That's way cool. <laughs> we will set up a permanent base on the lunar surface so that we can explore more of the moon. And we will put a spaceport where we can launch our next space vehicle right off the lunar surface on its way to <laughs> Mars. It's gonna be awesome. Now, of course, we're doing that because the lunar surface has less gravity, thus less fuel, thus less money that it will take to get humans to the Martian surface. But what obstacles does NASA have, do humans have, to reach the goal of landing someone on Mars? NASA has learned so much about Mars by landing multiple robots and spacecraft on the Martian surface. The first of those being Sojourner. So Journer landed on the surface in 1997, and it's the size of a microwave oven. If you watch The Martian, Mark Watney, the lead character in that movie, he actually found Sojourner and used it to communicate with Mission Control in Houston, Texas. Next, we took Opportunity and Spirit. Spirit and Opportunity, they were also named by elementary the students. Surface. They were solar powered, and we thought they were gonna last a about eight months, but they lasted for years and gave us valuable information uh, to us down here on Earth. Then in 2012, we landed Curiosity, which is the size of a small car, a Volkswagen Bug to be exact, and we landed that on the surface. So all of those missions have given us such valuable information about Mars and how we can land humans there safely. But how long does it take to get to Mars and how do we get there? We can't just go in a straight line <laughs> from Mars or from the Earth to Mars because we are rotating on our axis. Mars is rotating on its, on its axis as well and we're both revolving around the sun. Hmm, how does that work? Let me show you. Hmm, so how can we get to Mars? First off, let's look at the center. In the center there, that star, that's the sun, our sun. The blue circle is Earth, and the blue path is Earth's orbit around the sun. Now the red circle is Mars, and the red path is the Martian orbit around our star, the sun. Okay, let's see how easy it is to get to the Martian surface. It can't be that hard, right? Okay, here we go. Month two, month four, month six, we're almost there. Month eight, month eight and a half. Uh, we're a little embarrassed. We're at the Martian orbit, but Mars isn't close by. Uh-oh. So let's return to Earth. Month 11, month 14, month 17. Uh-oh, we're dead. We reached Earth's orbit, 
but Earth is all the way on the other side of our star, the Sun. Let's try this again. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have better luck this time. We're leaving Earth at just the right time so that when we reach the Martian orbit, yeah! Mars is there, yay! Now we're heroes, woohoo! <laughs> okay, let's go back to Earth so that everyone can interview us and we can become famous. Uh-oh, month 17, we're back to Earth's orbit, but Earth is way on the other side of the sun. We're dead heroes. Okay, again, third time, good luck, right? Third time's a charm? <laughs> Let's see. Here we go again, month four, month seven, month eight and a half. We made it to the Martian surface, yay. Okay, now we're gonna stay on Mars until we know that when we return to Earth's orbit, we'll actually be on Earth. Month 21, month 23 and a half, we can finally leave the Martian surface. Month 28, month 32, safely home at last. Almost three years in space, we finally return to Earth as heroes. Okay, your challenge today is to build a balloon rocket. Your rocket must have three things, the balloon, a cup, and a straw. The straw is going to propel your rocket down the fishing line, so it will stay in a straight path, <laughs> to the Martian surface, which is on the front board of your classroom. Hmm, how can you do it? Hmm. Can you add things to it? Sure, why not? Now definitely remember the things that you've learned in science class as far as Newton's laws of motion are concerned. Hmm, can you cut your cup? Why not? I can't wait to see what your rockets look like and to find out if you make it to the Martian surface. Now you can test your rocket multiple times before making your final design. This is gonna be so fun and so cool. Do you think you can do it? I know you can. Good luck on your first activity for Science Palooza. One. <laughs>